Naruto, a well-loved anime and manga series, revolves around a young ninja who dreams of becoming the Hokage, or leader, of his village. The story is filled with a wide range of characters, ninja clans, unexpected plot twists, and deep backstories. Konoha, the village where the story is set, is home to several powerful ninja clans. Among them, the Uchiha clan was once considered the most formidable. After a major war wiped out many strong clans, including the Senju and Uzumaki clans, the Uchihas emerged as the strongest among the five great nations. The Uchihas are direct descendants of Indra Otsutsuki, the eldest son of a legendary figure known as the Sage of Six Paths. Fans of Naruto are well aware of the tragic fate of the Uchiha clan. To outsiders, it seemed like the work of a ruthless killer who turned his back on his family and village for power. But those who knew the truth understood that this tragedy was years in the making. It was a culmination of resentment that had been building up for decades. This series of unfortunate events and poor decisions led fans to question whether this tragedy could have been prevented. But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. The Uchiha clan, known for their immense power and noble lineage, held their heads high with pride. But things took a turn when the second Hokage reassigned them to the police force and relocated them to the village outskirts. This move was seen as a slight by the proud Uchihas, who had given so much to the village during the wars. They interpreted this as the Hokage's way of keeping their power in check, feeling threatened by their strength. But in truth, the Hokage believed that the police force was the best place for such a powerful clan. This misunderstanding wasn't just a one-time thing. It festered over decades, sowing seeds of resentment within the Uchiha clan. Eventually, this led them to plan a rebellion with the aim of taking over the village. But as fate would have it, news of this rebellion reached the village elders and Hiruzen. Hiruzen chose to remain neutral, but Danzo decided to take action. Danzo secretly ordered Itachi, an Anbu Black Ops member, and an Uchiha himself to eliminate his entire clan. Itachi was torn but ultimately accepted this grim task to protect his younger brother, Sasuke. After carrying out this tragic mission, Itachi joined the Akatsuki, an organization of rogue ninjas, while secretly working as a spy for his village. This series of events is a stark reminder of how misunderstandings and miscommunications can lead to devastating consequences. It's a lesson that resonates not just in the world of Naruto, but in our world as well. For years, plans of a coup brewed within the Uchiha clan, providing ample time for the Hokage and village elders to make decisions that could have minimized the damage. Hiruzen, the Hokage at that time, should have used his influence to guide these decisions but instead he handed over too much power to the village elders who were stuck in their old ways. They did the dirty work while Hiruzen basked in the glory of his position. This was particularly true for Danzo, the leader of the Anbu Black Ops, whose misdeeds Hiruzen chose to ignore despite knowing Danzo's ambition to become Hokage. Hiruzen's failure to assert his authority as Hokage allowed Danzo to execute his own plan. Danzo audaciously stole Shusui's eye, forced him into suicide, and manipulated Itachi into killing his entire clan. He then coerced Itachi into serving the village as a world-class criminal. The other village elders were also aware of this situation and played a part in shaping the village's destiny. As the leader, Hairuzen chose to be a bystander rather than finding a real solution to the problem. The Uchiha clan tragedy became Hairuzen's greatest regret. Even after his death, he couldn't stop blaming himself for the tragedy that occurred due to his lack of courage. The Uchiha clan, despite their initial resentment towards Konoha, chose to set aside their differences for the greater good. Amidst the chaos of war and the instinct to protect their own, they pledged their loyalty to the village. This loyalty remained unshaken until Toborama, the second Hokage, reassigned them to the police force and moved them to the outskirts of the village. Tobirama was a shinobi of exceptional intelligence, possessing remarkable leadership qualities and strategic skills. 
He believed that as the strongest clan, the Uchihas would be best suited for the front line of the village's defense. His intentions were pure, but he failed to communicate this to the Uchiha clan. Tobirama's actions gave off an impression of resentment towards the Uchihas, further fueling their existing animosity. The Uchihas despised being isolated from the rest of the village and felt that Tobirama was threatened by their power. They believed that he was trying to sideline them to secure his position as Hokage. This misunderstanding between Tobirama and the Uchiha clan sowed seeds of discord that would have far-reaching consequences. It serves as a reminder of how crucial clear communication is in leadership and how misunderstandings can lead to tragic outcomes. The death of Minato a few years before the Uchiha clan massacre was a significant tragedy. Minato was a Hokage who surpassed Hiruzen in both ninjutsu and leadership skills. As a young leader, he had an open mind and wasn't bound by the traditional values upheld by the village elders. Minato was known for his unwavering commitment to protecting lives, never sacrificing others for the village's sake. During the Fourth Great Shinobi War, Orochimaru revived all the previous Hokage, including Minato. They were informed about the Uchiha clan's fate and the circumstances that led to it. Minato struggled to understand how such a tragedy could have occurred after his death, especially since he had entrusted Hiru Sen with the village's welfare just moments before his own demis. Minato expressed that if he had been in Hiruson's position, the Uchiha clan might not have met such a tragic end. Given Minato's exceptional leadership skills and his resistance to the pressures of the village elders, this could have been a plausible outcome. His words serve as a poignant reminder of how different leadership styles can significantly impact a community's fate. If you like what I do in here, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.